What up, fish tank people? FishtankTV.com, Dustin's Fish Tanks, bringing it to you on a Tuesday, baby. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. It's cold, snowy, and miserable here. I'd like to bring you guys some freak fish on a Tuesday. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of brew and check out some night fish. Y'all down with that? Note at the end of this video, I'm going to have lots of sick videos of night fish linked up, as well as my man Mike Barber's house. What up, fish tank people? FishtankTV.com, Dustin's Fish Tanks, highly caffeinated with a little bit of rum in it this morning, bringing you one, two, three, uno, dos, tres, cuatro clown knives today. That's right, here in the Amazon, we just left the city of Amazon. I'm on the back deck, everybody's been doing water changes, but I got to show you guys four species of knife. Senor Devin Graham, what do we have here, my all-knowing fish sensei <laughs> what do we got man what this is, is it a, this is one of the gym notice knives uh, it's uh it looks a little bit like uh the regular gym notice carapo Dude, but it's got bit, uh, he's, he's got uh divided bands here so he's something different we'll have to look him up but uh very beautiful knife fish Ooh, and these guys are highly predatory Great to keep with smaller fish. <laughs> <laughs> and this is one you said there's a couple of new species that have the different bands or whatever, so we're not 100% yeah, sure what yeah, this guy they've, is. Yeah, they've described uh, probably seven or eight new species in the last couple of years. So, But a nice, beautiful fish. Wow, gorgeous fish. All right, that's number one. And then we got over here, let's go this one. We'll throw him back in here, Devin, if you want. Yeah, that's where. Okay. And then over here from above, what's this bad boy right here? If you don't mind fishing them out hey, so we can see, see the side looks of like them. one of the uh, Sterlopygus. Wow. He's not, he's not a ghost knife, although he kind of looks a little bit like it from above, but there you can see how they swim. Yeah. Really cool movement of the ventral fin. They don't have a dorsal fin, just that long ventral fin. How big do they get? Uh, this guy would get a few inches bigger than that. He's probably close to full size. So They, they got a good reverse. But, uh, yeah, I love the way they can just uh, Instantly Back on go, out, look at instantly that. Instantly going to reverse, very cool. Wow, great fish. Let me see the side of him. <laughs> you guys see him. And you can see the water level's low, folks, because we're doing water changes, and yeah, it's a critical this, part. Uh, this is not how they're always kept. We, we, had, the whole we had several other uh, knife fish in here, and uh, this guy's the dominant one. He probably killed the others. So they don't, so, they don't keep some, them? Some of them are pretty aggressive towards each other, yeah. How do they breed? Uh, careful. What type, <laughs> what type of breeder? They're, uh, uh, they'll uh, lay eggs in uh, that cavity somewhere, but uh, no parental care as far as I am aware. Okay. Remember where we got him? Uh, he came out of uh, thick grasses uh, along the side of one of the channels of the Amazon, so just in the big seine, pulling up through uh, grasses and uh, mucked in a little bit of wood in there, and he was hiding in there. Is this white water or black water? Uh, this is white water. All right. That's half, we're halfway home. What do we got over here? We'll just pull those plants out if you don't care. Yeah, well, we got uh, got a nice little uh, glass knife here, Eigenmania virescens. Wow. Very, very nice uh, fish. How big you are those can, You can see, uh, you know, his internal organs and all through there. Wow. Uh, these guys don't get much bigger than this. A couple inches more, so uh, probably one of the easier ones to keep. There, I was just going to ask, they'll, are they hard to keep? No, no they'll, they'll like a heavily planted tank. Predatory? Uh, yeah, they're they're all predatory, but these guys are, uh, you know, smaller uh, insects, insect larvas, little tiny fish. They've got a pretty small mouth, so, and they're not that heavy bodied, so they're not going to beat up on everybody else. Yeah, very cool. And just a little bonus here, beautiful oh, pike. Senor Pike, you get your own, you get your own video, Senor yeah. Pike. All right, let's. And what's the last one here? Okay, this one. Uh, so that one doesn't get much bigger. This one right here, this is the cool looking one. If I recall, here, let's just yank all this stuff out. Vegetation, I found uh, knife or uh, hatchets in. Okay, yeah, these, here we go. these these guys are full size. Wow. They're uh, another. Uh, Okay, there, this little, little guy, guy right here. That's full Stia size? Yep, yep. Wow. Stia, Stiata Jenny's Duoday. Very Jenny's beautiful Duoday. fish. Wow, that is Again, this, this is something you probably want several in a heavily planted tank. Did and you? uh, you're going to want to feed them uh, blood worms and, you know, just a little, little bit of stuff. They'd probably love Daphnia. Are they hardy? Could you get them home? Oh, yeah, people have taken them back before. Wow. Yeah, those are beautiful. And you get a school available. Rest is on you. Ha ha! 
Mike's got them up. For purchase, click the link below. And yeah. we got, uh, so those so those come up, but you're saying keep those in a group then though. That's different than the other ones, right? Yeah, they're, they're uh, you, we frequently find them in groups. Can you, any way you can I try mean, to pull one out? Says several of them together and really? uh, there we go. Uh, yeah, they're they're slippery suckers. Yeah, so. well, they're not too big either. Wow. Any other just general knowledge on uh, knives, Senor Well, Devin? they're a group of fish that are electric fishes, so they're they're really navigating uh, by generating electric pulses and then uh, sensing the deformation of the electric field around them. So they they can navigate in total darkness. Wow. And the biggest in this group, of course, is the uh, famous electric eel, which gets up to six feet long pack a really good wallop. That's that's the only one that uh, creates enough of an electric field where you can actually feel it. Yeah. Uh, but these guys are all creating electric fields and and they've actually discovered that they have uh, courtship songs that are, consist of electric pulses. Courtship? So the, electric pulses? Yeah, yeah, electric songs. So they sing uh, the, the, male, the... the males will pulse, pulse out different frequencies and patterns and that attracts the females. Wow. So very cool. Yeah, oh, those are awesome, man.